A very important and very basic part of algebra is simplifying expressions, and that's what this section is about. Remember what an expression is. It's numbers and variables combined with arithmetic operators. So for example, 5 squared, that's an expression. 1 half bh, that's an expression. You might recognize that as the formula for the area of a triangle. 2L plus 2W is an expression, and you might recognize that as the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. But all of these are expressions, mathematical expressions. Now an expression is often made of terms that are added together. So take a look at these expressions and note how many terms are in each of these expressions. Well here's one thing added to another thing. The 2x is one term and the 3y is one term. So there are two terms in this expression. In this one I have three things, the ax squared, the bx, and the c. So that expression has three terms. And so does the next one, the a, the b, and the negative 3xyz right there. There are three terms in that expression. And this last one, you should be able to see it has four terms. 2a is a, t is a term, 3b is a term, negative 4c is a term, and 5d is a term. So there are four terms in that expression. Now it's important to remember that the terms are the things that are added together. So each term could be a simple number or just a simple variable like you see here, the a or the c, or it could be a combination of numbers and variables multiplied together. Each thing there is a term. Now take a look at these examples. This 287x squared y cubed z to the fifth times pi. And this next one I have 287x squared plus y cubed z to the fifth times pi. Note that even though these look similar, they both have the same numbers and the same variables and the same exponents. The two term expression here, mathematically, that is an entirely different thing than the single term expression. This is just one term. All of those things are multiplied together. Here I have those things multiplied together and those things multiplied together, two separate terms. And mathematically that makes this entirely different from the one above. And also remember that if a term is subtracted in the expression, the negative sign is part of the term. So in this case, 4a minus 3c plus 7. That minus 3c, that negative sign is part of this term. So there are three terms in this expression and they are 4a, negative 3c, and 7. Now understanding that that negative sign is part of the middle term is crucial. Sometimes it's helpful to think of all of the terms as being added. So instead of thinking of this as 4a minus 3c plus 7, you might think of it as 4a plus negative 3c plus 7. So we have three terms and they're added together. If you write it that way, or at least think of it that way, then the sign of each term, positive or negative, becomes clear. 